how to study for 5 hours after school why 5 hours it would give you time to revisit the concepts that is taught in school it would give you time to study something that is very difficult you would have time to have a fixed and consistent schedule for revision as well every single day we are setting three goals hello cute little champions so today here i am with something really really new that is we'll be talking about how to study for five hours after school and i know most of you might be having this five hours three hours at least tell something how we can divide our time and study when we have so many exams around the corner you have your case set you have your need you have your je you have your pu boards lots and lots of things so please don't worry let's just keep all our worries away and listen to me carefully if you are someone who is struggling to find at least two hours for studying i am here to give you a perfect guide of how you can divide your time for enjoyment for sleeping for uh, exercising everything and after that some time for studying as well okay and why you should be investing five hours that will be the that would be the first question that i would like to answer okay so the, why five hours my dear children first thing is that it would give you time to revisit the concepts that is taught in school so often we find no time to uh, go back to the concepts that is being taught in the school as of now when you are allocating that okay in this five hours i would be utilizing 30 minutes for something that has been taught in the school it would be really helpful for you so when we say five hours when we allocate time we are actually setting a goal that is the major funda behind all the things that i'm going to tell you so it would give you time to revisit the concepts that is taught in the school it would give you time to study something that is very difficult okay so when you start you can give one hour to something that is challenging for you now this challenging stuff will obviously tickle something in your brain and you would feel definitely motivated okay so you have time to study something is that is difficult and it is of high priority next thing you would have time to have a fixed and consistent schedule for revision as well so in five hours i'll give 30 minutes or one hour for revision that's fixed again so you're segregating your time just like how you segregate your work you'll say that i'll be working this at this point of time this at this point of time okay similarly you are going to allocate time for all these very important things last but not the least you would be also having time for studying something new that is also for sure so that is why we should be at least spending five hours so three hours might not give you a lot of things but at least bare minimum is five hours five if you spend five hours you would get to do all these things my dear children okay now going ahead now i'm going to tell you the timetable that you could follow for a person who goes to school regularly and there is no extra tuition and things like that children three o'clock i hope that you're returning back to your home so three to three forty please refresh have your lunch okay and schedule the task and gather your resources so often what happens is that when we sit to study at that point of time we search for things and we do not find the book and this and that happens so 3 to 340 is for three different things you have to take bath you have to have your lunch and why five minutes or 10 minutes utilize that for gathering the resources that you need for studying okay schedule the task that today this is my goal you have to have a goal for the day please remember that every day you should be having a goal write it somewhere okay the goal should be written somewhere and just follow that that's the task now the next thing that we have is okay now i believe if you're coming from school you might be a bit tired okay so 20 minutes nap works so 3 40 to 4 o'clock take a 20 minutes power nap this power nap would refresh your brain you might be tired after coming from school so many things might have happened in the school so this is for refreshment okay again for a bit amount of refreshment then four to six that is two hours you have study session one this is a session one of study you have to allocate this for studying not thing else works in this particular period so the goal that you have set should be divided into three parts the goal one is for this particular session you have to complete the goal one in session number one okay now going ahead at six o'clock you can take a small break six to six thirty please do a little bit of exercise do some stretching something like that which moves your body which makes you enthusiastic okay so do that for 30 minutes then after that 6 30 to 8 30 that is session two this is study session two and over here you will be following goal number two as well 
ओके सो गोल नंबर टू वट एवर यू आर सेट यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दैट गोल इन स्टडी सेशन टू चिल्ड्रन वेन यू कंप्लीट द गोल ओवर हियर इट सेल्फ वेन यू आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट योर गोल नंबर वन ओवर हियर यू विल फील सो मोटिवेटेड सो एंथुसियास्टिक टू गो अहेड विद स्टडी सेशन टू ओके नाउ आफ्टर दैट लेट्स सी वॉट कैन बी डन एट थर्टी टू नाइन यू हैव योर डिनर एंड लिटल अमाउंट ऑफ रिफ्रेशमेंट ओके थर्टी मिनट्स इज इनफ for dinner and everything walk around a bit that works now i have divided the study session 3 into two parts okay either if you think that you are someone who is really good at staying away for some time at night okay then 9 to 10 you can do your study session 3 this gives you 5 hours okay so this two this two this one gives you 5 hours now if you are someone who thinks that ma'am I can study for six hours also. It's fine. So nine to eleven also you can say. But after eleven, I'll request you to go and sleep. Please do not stay awake during that particular point of time. Please go and sleep. That is very much important. You should be having eight hours of sleep. Next morning you have to go to school again. So that is one big task. So let's not utilize that time. So either you can study from nine to ten. Okay, this will give you one hour. That makes a total of five hours. Now, if you think that <laughs> five hours is nothing for me, I'll go for six hours. Then you can add one more hour and you can study at night. But eleven o'clock sharp, you have to stop studying. You have to go for sleeping. Okay. Now there is one more scenario. If you are someone who is not that okay, you might be tired for the whole day, two hours, two hours. I'm done with studies. So then, morning is a really good time to study, children. The next option is. to study in the morning wake up at 5 sleep at 9 after dinner after refreshment go for a walk or do not go directly sleep there okay so you just have a quick walk around somewhere talk to your family have your own refreshment time for some time like 20 minutes or something like that then go to sleep wake up at 5 o'clock okay so 5 to 6:30 will be your session number study session number 3 so it's 1.5 hours okay so in that 0.5 hours you can obviously you need to brush you need to wake up that will be a slow process so 30 minutes i've kept for that one hour at least you have to study there so that is for people who are ready to wake up early okay please remember for a day i'm not asking you to schedule something for a week for a week when you schedule no it becomes for example one day you do not do the next day you keep things for the next day and i do not want that so for a particular day every single day we are setting three goals my dear children and these three goals should be going to each sessions okay works this is for regular school going champions and according to your school i do not know your school timings i am tell telling in general so if you have different school timings you can alter things okay so instead of from 9 you can go for 10 to if you're coming late then everything becomes a bit late bit late late and over here the last session will be 10 to 11 so that is also something that is doable okay now for children who are going for tuitions over here 5 to 5:30 you i believe you'll come back at 5 o'clock okay so you have your own refreshment time children have some break you might be studying for so long i don't want you to just cram 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 no now it's time for break Okay after that 5:30 to 7:30 is study session 1 5:30 to 7:30 should be your session number 1 again same thing that as, as i said there you have to set three different goals now 7:30 to 8 o'clock do a little exercise and have your dinner okay little exercise is very much important little rest is very much important even while studying which is high, which is why i have incorporated everything there now next thing is from 8 to 10 that is a next study session which would be there again for 2 hours so here you got it for 2 hours here again you are getting for 2 hours so you have got 4 hours of study then 10 Two five, please go and sleep. Okay, please go and sleep. We are people, so children who go to tuitions, you know, you might be tired. You might have an extra longer day, right? So I won't ask you to stretch throughout the night. Your brain also might be tired of learning a lot of things. So please take a break. Okay, I would not recommend. I was a night owl, but I would not recommend anyone because I never went for tuitions or things like that. Okay, so. uh i had enough time to rest and to stay awake at night and study and th- do things like that and wake up little late little late in the morning but now since you are someone who is going for tuitions you might have a lot to study in the tuition center also so you might be 
kind of tired so i would not recommend you to be a night owl rather than that start your morning fresh okay nowadays nowadays i have shifted to becoming uh what's say early uh what do you call the early bird yeah i'm an early bird now so whenever i want to teach something i get up early and i learn myself and then only i come to teach so 5 to 5 30 wake up and refresh yourself and from 5 30 to 6 30 you get one hour please do your study session three again you get five hours to study peacefully now you say aren't you are, are you compromising somewhere with the, your sleep with your uh, dinner time with your family time no you're not compromising you have time for doing everything over here it's just that sometimes five hours sounds to be really big thing for us but when we divide when we sit for it when we work out it it becomes really really easy and children let me tell you it's just few months it's just few months where you have to dedicate yourself fully that is 100 percent and if you give your 100 percent i'm saying that at least if you are not getting 100 percent in whatever exams you're doing probably you might be improving from somewhere right you might be in a position you might be but going ahead on b or c or d position that also means a big thing so utilize this time for that okay now going ahead how to divide the five hours for case it okay so you have got five hours i told you have study session one two and three right what you can do is for the first and the second hour in this time use the first hour where you are clearing the concepts please go through your concepts really really well okay one hour for concepts 30 minutes should be for writing pr practice if you are someone who is preparing for your pu2 boat as well okay so 30 minutes for if you are someone who is preparing for pu2 boards and also for your exams that is the entrance exam please give 30 minutes for writing practice and next 30 minutes for your entrance breaks question practice that is very much important okay now writing practice as in use the sample paper children for pu2 board children i'm telling you you can use your sample papers okay for solving question and having a quick writing practice over there okay now if you're someone who is not in pu who are just preparing for uh, these exams i'll say one point like one hour 15 minutes can be done for your clearing your concepts and rest of the time should be utilized for your question practice because if you're not applying questions over there it might be a huge trouble for you now if you're someone who is in pu1 they also can do the same okay instead of having a instead of having big uh, 30 minute practice you can have 15 minutes writing practice rest of the time you can utilize for question practice or for clearing your concepts this is a general thing for a person who is preparing for pu as well as your entrance examination so if you are someone who is just focusing on your entrance examination give much more time to this thing okay and you can cut this particular time off and utilize this for clearing your concepts and doing the questions now next thing the third and the fourth hour what is it for again the same thing in the first hour you are going to clear the concepts or whatever subject that you are taking okay i will recommend you to take a challenging subject over here take a challenging subject over here if you are someone who is going to the school take a challenging subject over here if you are someone who are going for tuitions take a moderate difficulty subject over here and take a challenging subject over here okay so start off with something challenging some something as i said that tickles your brain that's very much important why what happens is that some people say start off with easy subjects so that you feel confident are you feel equally confident when you are able to tackle difficult portion also that is also one way of looking at things okay do not go with the things do not go on the way that everyone is walking around right think for your own self if you are trying to cope up or you are trying to crack up something that is difficult for most of the people that is also one very challenging thing that will excite your brain you will feel motivated you will feel to study more and more you will see the difference my children you get it so you can do for that so the first two study sessions are for this now the last study session which i was talking about can be utilized for incomplete work completion if you are in 12th grade okay revision solving of doubts question practice everything for 12th grade and now if you are someone who is preparing for kset neat jee this one hour should be properly for pyq practice okay and also for solving your doubts 
okay if you are someone who's preparing for all the entrance examinations and stuff like that i won't think i don't think that you have incomplete work preparation apart from this this just this, this is applicable so either of them whichever you think is needed at the right point of time you can do it but i would recommend question practice very much okay this is something that i would recommend to you very much so this is an optional thing for you okay whatever you want to do but from my end whatever you studied you're just revising with the help of solvation of the questions works cool so this is how you can divide your hours fine now going ahead how to tackle challenging challenges while studying for five years so i know that obviously we are human beings okay something goes in that particular direction we also go in that particular direction we have a tendency to not be able to focus at one thing for more than some time so i know it might be difficult for you so what all can you do to tackle this particular challenge that you have first thing is that as i said engage yourself in recalling and writing points while studying so it should not be about you're going like this you are not a machine my dear children you have to tell include your brain also remember your brain is there in your body and you have to include that small tiny little thing in your body okay so please include that whenever you are going through some paragraph when you are going through some page when you are going through something please make it a habit to write the outline write the key points writing paragraphs does not need too much of your attention but writing key points thinking about it okay i have studied this let me write this after the page is done start recalling like this it would help you engage your brain as well which is very much important and it would not make you sleepy that is also very much important right next thing is that do not keep on reading frame your own questions so the next thing is that after writing the points and having the notes you can do one more thing is that frame your own questions now this becomes very much important for any aspirant who's preparing for examination whatever examination you are having children especially for k set for need for j you have mcqs you have a lot of things like that so once you're done with the paragraph once you're done studying anything frame your own question that also engages your brain really really well so these are the methods that you can practice for studying better in the allocated time that you are having in the one hour of concept studying do this it's important okay next thing use the last 5 to 10 minutes for active revision for active revision as in you are actively recalling things last 10 minutes or 5 minutes no think just think don't go right again okay don't use the notes that you have studied these notes that you have in your hand is for the final revision later on at the weekend or things like that okay so basically what you can do is this last 5 to 10 minutes you should be actively recalling okay i studied this i studied this mm -hmm, this is how it works i have to interlink this this is this, this or probably you can teach someone if you want okay or probably you can think of this thing that you have studied in the previous day but what happens in that is that you go to that particular area you do not focus over here so you would be able to recall that but it's because just you are panicked that's why you won't be able to recollect that thing but whatever you studied now at least that you should be able to recall okay the last one hour that is for revision in that particular one hour you can go back to the things that you studied in the previous day also that also works really well okay now next thing is that take breaks in between don't keep on cramming things so obviously breaks are needed so take enough breaks i have given you in a break in the time table you can take those break that might be enough but if you are someone who needs a break in between the two hours also stick have a have a proper break time that is okay just Five minutes, and it should not be like you are waiting for the break. No, it should not be like that. Once you think that you are done, oh no, uh, no, Jasmine, I cannot take it anymore. I, I have to have a break. At that point of time, have a break. Should not be like you are conditioned to have a break. Okay, if I study this, I'll get a break. Mm -hmm. Then you will be just focusing on the break, 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 and when the break starts, you would be. It would be a non-ending process. Your breaks won't end. <laughs> so that is the thing. So just think that breaks are not big. My goal are bigger, and I have to. My goals are bigger. I have to focus on that. And once I'm done with that, I will reward me with myself with a small break if needed. I don't think I need it. If needed, I will take that because I already have enough breaks of food, of this, of that, and there. Okay, but still, if you're needing it somewhere, you can have it. Cool. So, children, and there is one more very important pro tip that is start with challenging topic which tickles your brain. I told you already, and set goals for each day. Remember, each day should be having a goal. Three goals on your table on the sticky note. Just look through it. 
okay and say bye bye to distractions please keep your mobile away when you are studying study in a proper place sit properly do not lay around like this and then study no children sit properly have a good posture have water in between okay and no no mobiles no mobile area should be there as i said i have made a, a video on how to avoid distractions in the phone so watch that video it's very useful it's not like i'm just saying junk things it's a very important thing you can go watch that as well yeah so i think that's all for the day and i hope that i have helped you in some or the other way for managing your five, five hours now if you are someone who think that what i said makes some sense then definitely do not forget to comment that i am going to spend my five hours religiously on studying things and i would be setting my three goals so if you have your goals been set you can tell me that also that these are my three goals set for the day others also can come in you guys can see if you're able to achieve these goals or not yeah so challenge yourself my dear children and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to smile as well bye bye take care